I did it earlier, so I reset my cart this time. I should have done that the first time, and I probably would have been fine. But whatever, shit happens. Not that big of a deal. Like it doesn't really matter. It's a 16-minute speedrun, so resetting doesn't really upset me that much. Getting that first shot is a little tricky. But you can't just like jump and shoot like you do with the other shots. Because uh, you, when you bring out your revolver, the timing's different. I'm still not used to it yet. Drop the shot. Oh, my God. <laughs> Power up, fuck. Alright, cool. Okay, that still wasn't too much slower. Alright, cool. I thought I was going to lose some time going back to grab that power up, but that wasn't bad. Pretty good RNG so far. Both those guys lagged me a little bit, so that probably slowed things down just a small bit. I wonder how much of a time loss stuff like that actually causes. Could have been faster, but I had some weird camera angles to deal with. I got hit there, but if I get up quickly enough... Okay, cool. Oh 
my god, come on. Alright, cool. Yeah, that was a really, really good force of silence. I think that's about as fast as I'm ever gonna get. I might be able to get like a second or two, but it's not gonna be, ever be anything crazy. Because of less lag, you could probably save like a total of 10 seconds in Forest of Silence just by playing on PAL version. It's almost ridiculous. World record is 1605, 1604, something like that. Oh, are you serious? Okay. <clears throat> that could have gone a lot worse. Getting hit there is not that big of a deal. Might cause a little lag though. Getting world record on this version is probably not possible at this point unless I start using task route stuff. Just because PAL version saves a ridiculous amount of time just because of less lag. Jesus Christ, this runs fast. Only thing that sucks is it really doesn't matter, because I'm going to end up waiting in the coffin anyway. It'll be interesting to see how much time I'll have, though. Why'd I slide? Okay, that was dumb. I didn't mean to do that. Alright, where are we at for the timer? 
Oh my god. <laughs> It was like a solid 40 seconds early. Oh my god. Alright. Not a good start, but... Come on, let's have a good... Outer wall. There's time I can save here. Yeah, that was good. That's okay. Okay. Alright, not bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. I lost about two seconds there because idiot. I think that was the only real big mistake so far though, it was like not jumping in the coffin. reduce lag a little bit. Or not. Alright, good. Nice. the red platform. Now we're just waiting for the blue one. It's coming. Alright, cool. As long as my game doesn't crash, I get these last section, which I might still fail. So like I was talking about last time I was here, if I fail this section, like, it's, it's gonna be whatever, because it's arguably, I think for me, it's one of the hardest sections in the run.
And it sucks that like one of the hardest sections in the run is almost at the end. Yeah, let's see if I can get this clean. Okay, good. Alright, here we go. There's one. There's two. Whew. That was a bit of a butt clinch. I didn't think I was going to make that for a minute. gonna be really really good fuck yeah okay it's time to take a break from Henry <laughs> that was really good that was the run I wanted Whew. that was pretty fast like unless I use new skips and like work with the other guys to develop a new route, I don't think I... I could probably save maybe another five seconds. <sighs> because I had two ledge grabs in tunnel. Um, each of those, I want to say each of those is like two seconds, it might actually be less than that. And then like besides that, I had the coffin fuck up right after outer tunnel or outer wall besides that everything else was like on spot exactly what i want it to be and that is now the second place run i beat cb by literally one second what about the 20 seconds you lost in waterway it's what i was saying earlier that's a complete equalizer because as soon as you like get to the end of waterway you have to wait for a certain time on the clock in game before you can jump into the coffin so no matter what you do, that's going to end up being zero. But kind of the cool thing about this is not only is it like a really, really, really solid run, uh, like time-wise, it's actually a really solid run overall because it, it, the whole thing just looks really good. I think this is the first time I've ever finished a run and been like, that's my goal time. Like I wanted to hit 1630 and I got even less than that. That was really, really good. So unless I got a PAL set up or change the pass route, that's not, I can't improve that. So that means Reinhardt is next. I gotta start working on Reinhardt. Yeah, minus those two ledge grabs and like maybe the two second time loss in coffin. Like I think the absolute max time you could get on Japanese or English is maybe like uh, 1608. I think 10 seconds could be saved. But besides that, like I don't know how much more you could optimize that. So it's either, yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and learn another character. I'd love to come back and start working on the task route stuff. Because with, with how fast, like, I want to say on the in-game timer I was 40 seconds ahead. And I want to keep that in mind because the first section was really solid. Like, that's the time I would want to try to do the task stuff. If I had done the tunnel skip that would have saved another 10 seconds roughly and I think at that point you might be able to do a task route but again to do that you'd lose time in castle walls probably about maybe 40 seconds 
You might need a couple more skips. I think CB is right when he was saying that we need to save like another 10 seconds in order to do it. <sighs> but that was really good. Pretty damn happy with that.